Hello everyone, Mr. Hollywood here with Jack Fela, Jeep Dodge Chrysler Ram, bringing you another episode today with, holy smokes, that is bright. Okay, we have the Ram 2500 2023 model in Spitfire Orange, and yes, it is that bright, meaning if you are in a crowded parking lot, you will never lose your truck. This thing's, wow, I do like this color, it's actually very unique. I think it's very aggressive. I think if you have a bold personality or a bold business, you want a color like this. But this is a 2500, 159 inch wheelbase, so it is longer. It's the longest out there outside of the extended version. So the wheelbase comes from the middle of this, of the front wheel to the middle of the back wheel. But let's highlight some new features. For 2023, they have renovated the front end look. You have new lights, you have a new bumper look, you have a new fascia. It looks sleeker, looks more modern but it maintains the same core values that Ram has brought you for generations, including that efficiency of cost, which highlight is highlighted with, for example, the front bumper, which is broken up into three pieces. It is plastic with reinforcement inside. That way small scratches, dents, and bumps do not bother you as much because they're easily fixable and repairable, and the bumper is easy to replace altogether. The key has been updated for 2023 as well, which you will see is the digital key, just like the Jeeps had, uh, for the last year, you have the RAM on the back, uh, four buttons, remote starter, panic button, lock button, plus you have unlock buttons for both the front and the back. That way you can unlock them individually for maximum safety. The same beloved features that have been kept have been kept. For example, the mirrors, they still are fully flexible and do come with a split where you have the big regular mirror and a blind spot mirror right below that. Of course, you also have what's called the high roof here. So this is a taller roof provides for standing room unless you're an NBA player and you will notice maybe there's a little mirror here right and this mirror uh, not, not mirror there's a little uh, little camera here this camera allows for you to see a 360 backup camera which we'll show you when we're inside it's a really cool feature makes parking a breeze which the Ram already does really well because Ram has one of the best turning radiuses on the market currently when it comes to vans but what I also want to highlight is this van is a front-wheel drive van Meaning, whether you have cargo in the back or not, you will always have traction because the engine as well as the passengers are seated over the front wheel, providing that needed weight to maintain that traction. So let's go into the back and show you the back of this vehicle. Look at this color. Wow. I mean, that's bright. Spitfire orange, right? We're literally spitting fire. I don't know who was com coming up with those names, but they're creative. Spitfire orange. Cool. You know, when you have a flame, and you have that red around it, the yellow and the orange in the middle. I guess that's what they mean by the Spitfire. So, Ram logo in the back, camera up top, and you'll notice there's two, right? There's one pointing down and one pointing back. That back camera is your rear view mirror camera. There is a digital rear view mirror inside that I'll highlight for you. But before we get into that, let me show you the bumper here. Same idea as the front, same ideology, split into three pieces, plastic coverings. That way it's easy to repair and replace. You have a weight carrying bumper, you have your class four hitch and receiver. And of course you have doors that swing out all the way out. Giving you flexibility of how you're bringing your cargo in so you can easily maneuver around the van when you are in a tight space. So let's open this all the way out and let's hop inside. Let me show you some dimensions. So this is what we call the expediter package. The expediter package comes with a composite wooden floor which does have a little grain to it, that way you do not slip on it even when wet. And you have walls that are fitted here to minimize the sound projection from the exterior. Of course, there are options to customize this interior to your liking, we do that a lot. We can help you put shelves, we can help you put tool storage, whatever you want in here, and lights, LED strips, you name it. The dimensions of this, because it's a 159, it has 12 feet of cargo floor length. Now, if you get a foot longer, so if you get the 159 extended, the foot will come extra here, so you have a little bit more storage if you're looking for that. The dimension sidewise, because the van is designed in a box style shape, so you have nearly 90 degree uh, walls, you have plenty of space. And that means 70 and a half inches of room across, you have 56 inches between the wheel wells, and you have 77.1 inches in height at the highest point with about 76 inches on average where you have these little ridges here. Of course, you also have a sliding door over here, and this door is very wide, provides plenty of space. You can easily fit a 48 inch wide crate through here. That way you can maneuver to put some crates in the back, some crates right here. However you wanna organize it, it is your prerogative. It is optimized for utility. 
Of course, with all the storage, there's also a large shelf up top here for other tools that you may want to store. Maybe if you want to put some pipes or something like that, you're up. You work with uh, you work with hydraulics, or you work as a as a plumber. You need some pipes or whatnot. You could stack them across the roof, right? Put them there, and you have an extra foot or two of space there because of that storage. But before, uh, but after this, let's go into the inside, show you some of the interior features, some highlights that way you get to see what it's like to be a driver of the Ram Promaster 2500. See you on the inside. Welcome to the interior of the 2023 Ram. A 2500, 159 inch wheelbase. So the interior is optimized for comfort. You see you have your nice little armrest. There is a little twist knob there to make it higher or lower for you. That way you can have it on your preference. The steering wheel is designed to be easily held and controlled for when you're driving. The seat is optimized to deliver proper posture for the driver. So if you're doing those long distances, you're hauling those long distances, you're, you're not putting extra strain on your back. You do have power mirrors, we have blind spot monitors in this version, power controls on the doors, you have your uh, touch screen in front of you with the Uconnect 5.0 with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, you have your air conditioning controls, which by the way, I want to highlight how powerful the air conditioning is in this vehicle. No matter if it's 90 degrees outside or not, it blows so much air on you, you really feel comfortable because this is optimized for comfort. We understand. The engineers understood very well that being in a, in a labor job, when you need to move around, it does get heavy. Sometimes you wear thicker clothing and that makes you really hot or really cold. So the, the, these air outlets are optimized for flow to make sure that you can get that comfort into this vehicle. You also have controls on the back of the steering wheel for radio volume as well as what's playing. And you have your controls for cruise and phone on the steering wheel in front of you. The buttons here allow you to customize uh, what you're currently looking at and you can press this home button and you have some options for widgets. And you can change these widgets around. You can have phone, you can have music, you can put whatever you essentially want in there. If I hit the little edit button, the little crayon there, I can choose what shortcuts I have if I want to remove some widgets or add some widgets from there. On top of that, there's my music button for FM, Sirius and Bluetooth. I also have my iPhone connectivity. I also have my vehicle options. And additional apps the knobs are oversized that way they're easy to use even with construction gloves on and they thought about you they know you're bringing your phone to the car so they have a great phone slot right here which does have rubber holders to not damage your device but also to hold it in place that way it doesn't fall and there's a little space in there to plug in your cable so you can charge it at the same time with a USB and USB-C plug being right there and a traditional car outlet right here you also have plenty of storage you have three three spaces on the passenger side with two glove boxes that are closed and a nice ridged shelf up there. And perhaps my favorite, digital rear view mirror. So if you look right here, I can see behind me. Right Now if I flip this, it becomes a regular mirror. But this way you have the digital mirror. So you actually have a mirror and you can control how it looks based on these little buttons here. So you can make some changes to it. There is some settings here on how high, how bright. So you can make those controls. See, I can change how high it points so I can look behind me wherever I want. This is great because in a van like this with no windows at the back, a rear view mirror otherwise becomes useless. But this allows you to see what's going on behind you. Of course, it also has a rear view camera, which I showed you the position of when we were outside. And look at this. This gives you full view, front, back, rear, everything. So you can see where you are in relation to the lines that you're trying to park in. Now this will also allow me to show you how great of a turning radius these things have. So I'm going to go forward and we're going to back up and we're going to stand into a one lane road and we're going to do our best to turn from the rear. So now we're going to go ahead and reverse and you will see on the camera, you will see that we have those lines there and you're going to see how, how well this turns, right? At maximum turning radius, it almost turns in place. Right? It's very maneuverable. These things extremely well, extremely tight turning radius. You'll be able to really turn around in, in most roads, right? Obviously not one ways, but in two-way roads, three-way roads, you should be able to easily be able to pull a U-turn and maneuver it. This is a beautiful parking feature right there. And you can optimize what you see here. You can change it so you just see that. So you just see the front too. So you can also see how close you're getting to something. You can have front view and top view at the same time, which is really nice. 
and you can have just your rear view as well. So you get to control how you look at it, and I think that's beautiful. I think that it gives you so much options, so much opportunity to make sure that you don't hit something. So it's a beautiful feature. You guys will love this, especially when you're in tighter spaces in metropolitan areas. So with that, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for more content. Ask your questions in the comments. And if you want your van and you want it ASAP and you want it delivered to your home or you want to learn more about it, make an appointment, come test drive it, call the number you see on the screen for Sebastian Novak. Give him a buzz. He's the director of operations. He will give you no BS pricing. He will give you a fair upfront information on what you need to accomplish to get the vehicle the way you like it and where you want it and we'll make sure that you get everything you want and you are extremely satisfied with your purchase. That is the mission of Jack Phelan is to make sure that you are a happy camper. Give us a call. See you next time. Mr. Hollywood out.